Alright, so when we do the FOIL method, we're really focusing on four letters. The F, the O, the I, and the L. And they all stand for something. The F is going to stand for first, so I'm going to take the first two terms from the two parentheses and we're going to multiply them together. So X times X would give me X squared. That would be my first term. Once again, I'm using the first two terms from the parentheses. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my colors a little bit and we'll do the O in the foil. That will be the outside. My outside two terms are 4 and X. So when I multiply those together, I get 4X. Changing colors again, I'm going to go off to green. We're going to get that third letter in the foil. That's going to be I. Now I can stand for inside, it might stand for inner, same idea. All we're doing is we're taking the inside two terms and multiplying them together. So the 3 times x would give me 3x. Let's go ahead and change colors one more time. Now we're looking at that last letter in the foil, which is L. L can stand for last. What I'm going to do is I'm going to underline the last two terms inside the parentheses in black. And we know that 3 times 4 is 12. Now the final step to any FOIL problem is to combine like terms. What I see in the middle are two terms that I can combine because they end with the same variable with the same exponent, an x. So when we combine those, we're adding the two coefficients out in front. 4 plus 3 is 7, so I get 7x. And last but not least, I'm going to bring down my final two terms that I didn't bring down. So the x squared is going to come down, and the 12 is going to come down. So we're multiplying two binomials, x plus 3 and x plus 4, and we get a trinomial back, which has three terms. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please like the videos and subscribe, and I'll be coming out with new ones every week. Have a good day.